and massive cleanup and recovery efforts are going on right now in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. Of course, you will notice too there that uh, QR code in the corner of your screen. That is a direct link to donate to the Red Cross who are working so hard to help victims from this storm. Today, President Biden is touring the area by helicopter. NBC's Jay Gray live yeah. in North Carolina, where people are trying to put things back together still, Jay. Yeah, Matt Christie, they will be doing that for a long time. President Biden, as you talk about taking a look at the strike zone, promising federal help for the long haul. The locals aren't waiting. This area right here, there was a gaping hole in this roadway yesterday. They packed this in and made it accessible so people can get up the mountain, help others up there. They're using their own backhoes. They're using their own tractors. They pulled at least two cars, a giant tree, and mounds of debris from this creek in just the last few hours. It's the beginning of what's going to be a long, a very difficult uh, recovery process here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the numbers. Unfortunately, the death hole continuing to climb. We're at over 150 now that have died as a result of this storm across six states. You've still got more than a million without power. And so many of these communities that are still cut off, the only way to get desperately needed supplies in is either through the air with an airdrop or trying to get through some of the washed out trails along the mountains here. The president has ordered a thousand active duty soldiers from Fort Bragg here in North Carolina uh, to make their way in and try and help with that delivery. And, and so that's going to be uh, a, a big help for some of these areas. I think it's impossible, Matt and Christie, to overstate how difficult things are. No power, uh, there's no clean running water, no internet, and, and no cell service, no clear indication of when it's coming back. Well, the images say it all, and of course, we're, you know, five, six days removed, and you can really see how much work there is ahead. Jay, thanks. Yeah. Well, today, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris got a firsthand look at the devastation. Bree Jackson will have a live report coming up at 430.